Many years ago, I had emergency surgery due to a ruptured ovarian cyst. After surgery, my heart seemed to constantly race anytime I moved. After seeing numerous doctors, I was finally diagnosed with postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, which is often abbreviated as POTS. Although I was often short of breath and gasping for air, I was told all my symptoms were due to POTS. Moreover, my rapid heart rate was causing my shortness of breath. My breathing symptoms were ignored. I soon could no longer sleep flat because I would wake up not being able to breathe. I had to sleep propped up on pillows. In 2016, my POTS started spinning out of control. My heart rate became faster than what it normally was. A doctor finally took my breathing issues seriously. I had lung function tests. They showed I was in respiratory failure. Due to an underlying medical condition called mitochondrial disease, my breathing muscles were no longer able to function properly. My body was retaining carbon dioxide. I was started on a machine called BiPAP. This machine gives a high-pressured breath which forces air into the lungs. It then decreases the pressure to allow air to passively exit the lungs during exhalation. Within a month, my breathing rapidly deteriorated. I started using the BiPAP machine 24 hours a day. However, my breathing continued to worsen. During this time, I had difficulty sleeping. I had to sleep sitting up. I had terrible headaches. My heart rate was high. I was confused, agitated, and felt a tremendous amount of doom and dread. I was extremely exhausted. My blood pressure was high and I had significant chest pain. My lung doctor did not seem concerned. In April 2017, a last minute cancellation by my lung doctor forced me to see a different pulmonologist. The new doctor took one look at me and told me I was in respiratory failure. I needed a tracheostomy tube and needed to use invasive ventilation immediately. I was scheduled for surgery and on May 3rd, 2017, I had an operation to get a tracheostomy tube. Since surgery, my life has been so much better. It is such a relief to be able to breathe without having to fight for each breath. If you or a loved one has a neuromuscular disease or a lung condition, Please seek medical intervention if any of these symptoms of high carbon dioxide are present. Headaches, rapid breathing, fast heart rate, high blood pressure, chest pain, dizziness, restlessness, double vision, muscle weakness, loss of balance, which may manifest as the person experiencing frequent falls, hair loss, pale skin or gray skin, agitation, fatigue, feelings of hopelessness, confusion, not being able to fall asleep or an inability to stay asleep, feeling as though the world is going to end, etc. If any of these symptoms are being experienced, please ask your medical provider if high carbon dioxide levels may be to blame. You may need lung function tests to determine your body's ability to breathe. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.